say that racist thing you wanted to say. All I'm saying is the the gnomes own the government. <laughs> they own this city. <laughs> All I'm waiting for are those gnomish space lasers. The gnomes did a magical spell to make the frickin' frogs gay. You wouldn't want a cowboy hat or a baseball cap. Cowboy hat or a baseball cap? Go oh, baseball cap. Your name will be Trucker F- And then, you know, I might just want to do gothic boots instead of, like, armor. Uh -huh. I know, this is a riveting part. Mmm, riveting. Riveting. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's pretty flat. Like my boobies. <laughs> Let's get one of these. I'll get one of these just because. You know, I already thought of the perfect name for this uh, building that you're doing. What? Video, you should call it uh, A Woman Thinks She's Allowed to Play Video Games. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, oh, even better. Uh, a woman thinks that she can be a decent architectural, uh, you know, manager. Uh, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll workshop oh, it. I'll okay, workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something <laughs> insulting to women <laughs> in general. You know, like you do. You know, it's the only way that you make it in this bar in society is you you placate and you, uh, you 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 spread to the nines for all these goddamn dungeon dwellers, as I like to call them. You know the the way the way certain people that we know used to be. You know, you know Phoenix being uh, afraid of women in general. Oz <laughs> just being scared of you know being outdone by a woman. Sengoku <laughs> just being scared in general, and me having to be submissive to women so that they touch yep, my butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important. It's important that butt touching. Exactly. 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 <laughs> it's an aglet. It is what is at the end of your shoelace. Yep, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I teleported. I don't think I've ever looked at this formation before. Fix it. I mean, it's kind of nice. You want it flat, don't you? Alright. You just like destruction. Blow it up. Blow it up! No, I am not a Michael Bay film. I, I do like some nuance. Every so often. <laughs> By nuance, I mean different versions of explosions, obviously. What's funny is I wasn't even planning on building over here, so this is just, uh... This is just wanton destruction. I love this tool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, most women tend to like tools. <laughs> Eventually they develop standards, but you know what? I give it to them. All right. Let's see. Where is it? Business glass. It's business. It's business glass. All right. That's one, two. Going on. Me? You. I'm finishing up my book. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yep, yep, yep. Cold Steel is coming along. Good. Currently finishing up the uh, screen encounters and then we'll come with the uh, scouting encounters and I may make one more counter table. We'll see. It kind of looks like a Frankenstein monster right now. <laughs> oh yeah. I did not intend those to... You guys are wrong and you should feel bad about it. 
All right, so this first version will just be the first half. Good, good. This is the kind of thing that you can build on day one if you need to. So this is side plating because dim zambies, they, uh, they tend to beat on things. There we go. Ramp implant, that's what we need. Okay, so this is a version of the hatch hallway where we put the hatches. The nice thing about plates is they offer the same amount of protection as a full block, but they take up less space and therefore are more attractive. <laughs> or attractive, more sexy. That block <laughs> makes me want to bust. No cock blocking here. Unless you're a zombie, then we'll cock block you. Oh yeah, yeah. No zombies welcome. This is a no zombie club. This is an innie, not an outie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm... Like in an actual game, I'm gonna have a lot of this be unupgraded. You upgrade the important stuff. And the rest of it, meh. Just uh, block that off. So they can't sneak up on us. Because if they see you, they will spit at you. Now we need some railing. That'll keep them in. We don't really have to worry about this side, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. That'll keep us from falling and it will still let us access everything over there. Alright, then we need some top railing. Alright, let's get some centered bars. Let's let them come that way. We'll take pity on them. Give them hope that they can get to us. Come on, zombie thick. I should get the faster ones. Alright. Alright, what are you guys hitting? Oh yeah, you're hitting the bars. Oh, look at you. The nice thing about this design is that you can hit him from the side with your melee weapon. pretty solid until you start getting spitters. So you can get away with just this for the first board or maybe even a couple of boards. All right, so obviously you need to protect from birds. fun thing is there are some arch blocks makes things just a little fancier oh yeah <laughs> fancy it's fancy so let's run this through at least some ferals here we go oh yep here comes the cop Here goes the cup. You're late. Lol. Yep, the nice thing is half the time the bags just fall down. 
should have fixed the hatches before we started again. So yeah, this is all cobblestone. You can take a look. Some of these are damaged. Not much. And the nice thing about this design is even if they take out that, there's more support on the other sides. Hell yeah. And usually, once we can get to the uh, to the cement part, we encase this on all sides. So the pillars are very sturdy. Doesn't take a ton of resources, and it's a decent opening for for a first week ward. It'll get the job done. All right, let's upgrade. So to seal up the edges here, you actually need a piece of trim. And it'll fit right in that little spot. It's not entirely necessary. Technically, if they took out the panel and the center block and the other panel, once you've upgraded this a bit, could take out most of these things and that'd still hold it up. Pretty cool. We're of course going to go purple. All right, let's test this durability. Let's go ahead and get a cop. We'll get a couple of feral bikers, a couple of feral burnts because I like the way they are on fire. Hey guys, what are you doing? What are they doing? That's taken, taken a beating. Mm. Why are they doing that? Is it because of that? That's why. For some reason, zombies are smart enough to know uh, what your stuff is made out of. And the nice thing also is that cops, their spit is a distance thing. You are right up in their face. They won't spit at you. Yep. Yep, they fall right off and they come on back. You know, if I'm gonna be playing around with bikers, I probably ought to put some points into knives. There. That's better. Come on, biker. Hi. Yep, that's much better. All right, let's see what the damage is. All right, they took... Some of these took a beating, but they're but they're okay. You can repair these kinds of things mid-fight if you see them. And then let's see what happened down here. Oh, yep, this took a little bit of beating from the cop spit. I noticed pretty quick they saw this as the fastest way to get to me because it had less hit points than the gauntlet. But as soon as I upgraded it to concrete, they stopped and they started going for the gauntlet. So that goes to show that they are smarter than they look. Which is not hard because they look real dumb. Alright, now for the fun part. I'm gonna upgrade all this to concrete. Alright, 
So for this part, if you care about aesthetics, you'll want to go with this guy because that'll let you have the seamless edge. Because we are covering this whole area with plates. And of course we're, we're gonna do this little, uh, do the little finish here because, you know, aesthetics matter. Do it. Yes. Aesthetics, they matter. You know, I haven't yet found a piece that'll fit in this corner. What do you mean? I mean, ideally, we would have a... Maybe, maybe there's a new one. Hold on. Let me look. Let's try this. Nope, that is way too big. Although, it does look kind of cool. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> What's up? Oh, just, uh... The plate that I was having to use. It's just funny. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, don't, I don't hate it, though. It's an aesthetic choice. Okay, now you will have noticed that I left a sizable gap. When you get around to being able to make traps, but electric fences along the inside, there. It's probably one more than we need, but you know what? Can you really have too many? And over here, a little gentle wedge. That's the cool thing about this particular build. You can wire from here, all from one side. You can do this in the middle of a cord as things are kicking. See, all the wires go straight across. You can fix every single one of them from inside the base. Next, the fun thing you can do with traps is the dart trap. And the cool thing is, you can shoot them straight down. Let's put, let's put in another switch. Right below. Switch things on. We can see that they're powered, and we can connect these. So when a zombie is standing on them, they trigger. And I'll just trigger these ones here. Let's get some victims. 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 There they go. Oh no! Uh, yep, that's a problem. Hot wall. Not, it's not nuss buster proof. Yeah, yeah. Well, that wouldn't have caused a whole lot of damage if I had upgraded the... Because if you notice, most of what exploded oh, was yeah. due to the non-upgraded stuff. Exactly, but exactly. There's his little hat. Uh, his little hat. What's your problem? Wear it. Alright, the other thing that I remember... This is fun. Let me go ahead and replace this stuff, though, because that was my fault. I should have reinforced it. Wow. Failure. Failure. You're just like your father. <sighs> I mean, my father's not a failure. You're not like your father. <laughs> you're like, you're like a failure or some shit. You're like a fail. You're like my father. <gasps> No, you're my daddy. <laughs> now you gotta made it weird. Yeah, I did. Yep, see, you didn't do hardly any damage over here. Now, I remember something fun that I was playing around with. If I remember, I put these trigger plates here. I'm triggered. <laughs> you know, it's okay. I oh. see you. Can that. you see me right now? I can. Do you see my butt? Uh, if you stood up, I would. What the fuck? <laughs> I can see I you're not up. wearing pants. 
That is accurate. <laughs> but that's a trick question, because I never wear pants. You know, accurate. What else am I not wearing? A shirt. I am wearing a shirt. <gasps> my lies have been exposed. Exactly. The thing I'm not wearing, my headset. It's currently right beside me. Oh. Oh, it's because my little ears are. No. Make way for the double sided. I only upgrade them to cobble so you can see them. Now, the cool thing is. You do that. The trigger plates still work. Not only that. You can still place those on top. Alright, let's wire it. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right. That looks fantastic. All right, let's try it again. And get a nice sampling. Oh. Turn on the traps. In fact, we'll try it just with the darts. Okay, no big boy, you're not allowed to fall. No blowing. There you go. I love how they're on fire. Feral burnt zombies are so cool. Yep, and then with this included, It just takes them right out. Now the really cool thing is that this base was originally designed for demolishers because they are little rat bastards who will blow up your base at their earliest convenience. In fact, if you're worried about it, or you don't have dart traps, you can hit them from behind. Here, let's, let's let him in a little bit. Because if you hit them in the back, they don't blow up. And if you're worried about them blowing up, you can hit them in the legs. Let's try that again. So many demolishers. Come on, lovelies. You can also shoot them from here. I like it when the bats. You like what? I like it when the bats on die. Oh, look at the damage they're doing, though. They think they can get to me. I mean, they could if I let them let it go long enough. Get 
get some steel. Let's go on a tour. Take me through your house. Okay. Let me lucky. That's how we keep the zombies out. Ironically, it'll trigger, you can hear, it'll trigger even if the hatches are closed. Oh, wow. Yep. And then we have the library. This is where the zombie killing happens. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the place of learning. Yes, yes, the place of learning. The place where uh, the zombies learn who is boss. And then we have roof access gets you up here. Um, I need to install some turrets up here. And then back here is where we keep our ammo and our uh, accessories. And that's out the back. All in all, a very cozy place for death. He's a good, like he's a good boy. Yes, the popular all right, we're almost ready. All right, going live. All right, here they come. Yes, they do. Okay, let me let me turn this off and get them in a little further. Come on in, guys. Who is down there? Why are they banging on stuff? Look, I put down all the hatches. It's so quiet. Oh, be careful. Alright, they're off. Alright, that was it. Oh, they drop half decent stuff. Yes, oh, beer? Uh huh. I, I do. Oh, yeah, have you a beer? Like, after one beer, you're just, like, tipsy. Alright, let's see what the damage is. Yeah, they did a little damage here. Very little. Could probably avoid the stairs by making the uh, the rounded ones. Yeah, like half the time I end up expanding this front section so that it's wider and they can come from any direction and easily yeah, run like, up. Like you know the ones at the base here where it's Yeah, let's uh, see where they were beaten off. A little bit on this one. A little bit on that one. Yeah, for the most part they were just hanging around. Well, what we got. I'll run the gauntlet. You want, to, been... you want me to turn it on? <laughs> I'll, t I'll turn it on so you can run the gauntlet. Okay. All right, it's on. How do you feel? Electrified. 